Hi guys, welcome to Database Talk channel. In this short video, I'm going to demo you how to find a root cause for always on group failure event, which occurred in SQL Server 2016. This is also valid for SQL Server 2017 and 2019 as well. So let's start. In Management Studio, connect to the database server. Hit connect. From the tree view, we are going to get management section, expand management folder. Under that, we are looking for extended events. Yeah, expand that. Under that session folder, expand the session folder. Always on health, extended event, expand that. And there's a package. You can right click there and then view target data, which will open all the extended events generated for this server since it's restarted. And most recent records would be at the bottom. So scroll down to bottom. And then we'll find the first time, uh, the latest date that what what is the event that occurred. It says availability group lease expired event has occurred at 13.54, that's Eastern time. And the bottom part of that will give you more details. The state lease not valid and that's availability group name, which is the listener. And just after that event, the availability replica state change had occurred. The previous state was primary normal, which is the normal running condition. And the current state is resolving normal. Which means essentially the availability group has gone offline and it is not synchronization state right now. And after that, uh, you can see there are a bunch of error reported for each database in this case. Uh, we have 11 databases in this server so you can see 11 error reported for each database and if you look at the message section uh, in bottom part of it and you can see that database is also changing the role from primary to resolving so which means at this time database is not accessible and after that availability replica state change occurred it says resolve in normal to primary pending still it is availability group is offline you can see 13 54 28 second and then primary pending to primary normal at that time availability group has come online 13 54 and 20 seconds and after that, the each database is coming online, trying to bring them online. And you can see other events uh, error reported for each database. You can, you know, browse through that change. Uh, there are several reported error messages. Still, the resolving primary for each database is happening. And then the error reported uh, stopped at 11, uh, 14, uh, 14 or 7 uh, time, Eastern time. And you can open the error log, uh, SQL Server error log uh, to correlate what has actually happened uh, during that, uh, the starting that uh, availability group state change. Uh, just prior to that, we can see what was the event occurred. So I'm looking for uh, 9, 11, uh, 1354 time. And you can see, you can just scroll down. It's, you can see a bunch of errors, uh, information, messages, login failure messages. And just before that, you can see uh, 1353, just one minute before, or a few seconds before, uh, there was a, SQL dump uh, generated. It's a non yielding scheduler due to that. SQL dump has been generated. 
uh, because SQL dump uh, generator during that time SQL server process uh, basically freezes. Uh, that means uh, it will uh, cause to expire the least timeout. That's what has happened here. So you can um, log into the server and check this DMV to get more information about the the uh, dump that has been generated SQL Server memory dumps now you can see the location and the time it got generated so this dump would be helpful to you know identify what has really gone wrong so in uh, summary always look for always on health check extended events when there's an event Extended events give you a lot of information. It gives you when and what if something happens. It does not so much give you why, but it definitely gives you when and the what. A given AG, I can see state changes by looking at extended events, which I showed you. So any anytime AG fails over or AG goes down, you will see that events. So if I ever see pri uh, AG uh, state from primary normal to something else, which means your AG went offline at that time. So primary normal is the current state. Resolving normal, sorry, primary normal is the previous state and resolving normal is the current state means either failover had initiated OAG went offline due to some reason. So you need to check for other error logs to find out why. So in this case, I looked for SQL error logs to see why AG went offline. So we found out AG went offline due to SQL dump generation. So when the SQL dump is generating, it freezes the SQL server process which basically cause the least time out to expire. So if you ca cannot find out from SQL error logs, the next uh, is the cluster, uh, cluster logs. So you need to generate the cluster logs using PowerShell. Cluster logs will be your friend at that time to find out why it happened. So that's it for today. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.